welcome guys to part two of this journey i know it's gonna take a while but if you haven't watched part one don't watch this one yet in my first video I shared some of my story and what i did uh, to save this much money um but we have to keep going because i'm not done i still have at least 10 to 15 more envelopes here that i need to um fix and then we can start the official final count in these um, I include all of the money for my 100 envelope challenge my mini envelope challenge this one I believe is over a little over 1,000 um, and then my 3k challenge from Lux designs and then um, this challenge that Tiff had for a little while spring savings challenge and a 1k savings challenge from plan with layla blue so let's keep going if you guys enjoy money asmr i guess you will love this video because <laughs> that's all i'm gonna be doing thank you to everyone that has been watching and commenting on my videos I posted my last couple of reels finishing up this challenge uh, on Instagram and my TikTok and the support has been um, very kind and sweet. I do plan on doing uh, like a Q&A regarding the 100 envelope challenge because a lot of creators do it differently. and. Um, I have seen some valid questions, <laughs> especially because I didn't do mine in order. I was picking my envelopes randomly or I was picking them as whatever I could stuff that week. So a lot of whenever I would say, oh, I only have 10 envelopes left. And then you saw me stuffing like a 50. People would be like, well, if she's stuffing 50, that doesn't, doesn't that mean that she has 50 left? I guess that's a valid way of thinking. <laughs> and Tiff did send me some trackers that go inside this box that are small. And probably next year when I do this challenge again, I will use those as opposed to this one. All right, so let's get these boxes out of my frame. I don't know I know that for you pages on TikTok are definitely tailored to what you guys look for but I've been seeing a lot of people doing DIY eyelash extensions swearing by them showing their cleaning routines as to like proper ways to clean your eyelashes and stuff so I caved in and I bought everything surprisingly Everything that you need to do them at home is very affordable. So I'm excited to try that <laughs> because lash extensions are, are very expensive. Obviously, I'm not trying to say that, you know, you shouldn't go to a professional. But if there is a way to, to uh, have nice lashes that last um, a couple of days at least, I'm interested in trying. <clears throat> All right. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is what am I saving for? And I believe I have mentioned this before, but for everyone that's new, I am in school and I am paying out of pocket. So I was saving separately for school, but honestly, I was just draining myself. And I want to stop that mentality of, I never have enough. So, I am just doing my savings challenges and my school tuition, will, at least for the rest of this year, will come from whatever... I make from these challenges. I wanted to pay my car off early, but the payment is very low right now um, because we gave 
before we financed it, we gave a good down payment. I tech, I just wanted to get rid of it, but my husband was like, you know, might as well just save the money. Um, you're in school, and if you want to take some time off, you can. And, you know, I was thinking about it, and I said, you know, he's right. I'll just finish my school. I still have a couple, a few more semesters to go. But I am able to relax a little and not have to work too much because this first six months of the year, I work so much that honestly, the rest of the year, I should probably just take it easy. <laughs> Especially because the major holidays are toward the end of the year. So I'm glad that I did all of my working early. All right. So this is all the money. And now I'm gonna start the counting. I know this is gonna take a while and honestly I've regretted taking all of the challenges out together. I feel like I should have just done one by one so I know exactly how much I made with each one. But it's done now, so there's no backing. There's no backing out. All right, so I'm gonna start with the hundreds and I believe my husband will speed through this. made it this far in the video i have a total of eleven thousand and sixty dollars from six different savings challenges so i think it's pretty damn good <laughs> honestly 
there were many times that I didn't think I was going to make it, that I should have closed all of these out, taken the money, used it for something else, um, that I thought that maybe doing these challenges was too much, but honestly, I am glad that I did not listen to myself. <laughs> and all that all of those voices of insecurity because i was able to pull through and i'm not gonna say it's easy it's hard especially when you want something and here in new england when the weather is nice i want to go out and spend here by that so i wanted to stop so many times guys but it's important to push through stick to the budget because then you reap the benefits like i was able to save eleven thousand dollars in six months and i still have money on my the rest of my challenges and my sinking funds so i hope that this video motivates you to start your savings challenges you don't have to save as much as i did my very first year i did not save this much not even close not even half of this so i hope that you guys um are pushing through sticking to your goals making those budgets every month even if it's annoying and you got this and thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, like, to share this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye. And I'm thankful that you're here. If you're worried or excited, just join the family. Let's do it together. To God be the glory. Be